heart's beating out of my chest. Oh my gosh, this is so overwhelming. What is up to all of my little unicorns, new and old? It's your girl, Wes Indy Ray, back again with another information-filled video. I cannot believe I'm doing this video right now. Today is the day that I am combing out my locks that I've had for the last four years and some change, y'all. Y'all know that I started these beautiful locks along with my mother who has now gone to be with the ancestors. Y'all know what a big thing this is for me, so it is only right that I shared this experience with you guys as well as I enter this new chapter of life. My locks have been such an integral part of my grief and healing journey. I am so thankful for them. I am so thankful for this journey. But today I am lovingly releasing the energy that I have built up and that I have insulated myself within over these past four years. I don't want you guys to get my tears confused with sadness. Above all, y'all know this lock journey has played such a big role and it has helped me feel connected to my mom and I have to be grateful because the way that I feel connected with my mom now is to the point where I could be outside of this body. Not just not having these locks that we started together, but I could be outside of this whole body and know that I'm still connected with her. I know that me making this video may come as a shock to many of you for several different reasons. A lot of you guys got first introduced to me through my lock journey. A lot of you even started locks along with me or were inspired by my lock content to take that leap on your lock journey in your own life. So I understand that it could be a really sentimental thing. I know that a lot of people are attached to this experience that I've had with my locks because you guys tell me, you guys DM me and you tell me these things, you comment in the comment section and tell me how much this journey resonates with you. And for that, I say any feelings of closeness or connection that you guys feel towards my lock journey, I'm truly and deeply grateful for. There is nobody else that I would rather, you know, go through this transition with other than you guys who have supported me and loved me through all of this, no other community that I would rather take this next step with. So thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in to this video. Now, of course, it would not be a West Indy Ray video if I wasn't showing you guys how to do something and, you know, being informative in some way. So I'm going to take you guys through the whole entire process of me combing out my locks. So of course y'all know I have color treated hair, which makes this comb out, since I'm combing it out and not just chopping it off, it makes this a little bit more of a high stakes type of process for me. Because whenever you do a chemical process to your hair, you are getting some damage. No matter how gentle you are with your hair, no matter how good you are at coloring it, it is stripping your hair and that causes damage. I've been color treating my hair since before I even started locks. So for that reason, I'm going with a color safe conditioner. I'm using the Wella Professionals Ultimate Repair Conditioner for this lock comb out. This conditioner is color safe, which is first and foremost on my list because like I said, I have color treated hair. It also helps visibly strengthen, smooth, and repair the hair. And it has a really beautiful, thick consistency, which I think will give me a lot of slip as I comb out my locks. I've been using the Wella brand for years. If you have seen any of my past hair color videos whether that be before I had locks or even the ones where I do have locks you'll see that I talk about that t14 toner all the time it is what I use to gently get my hair to this perfect honey blonde that has become my signature so I'm really grateful and appreciative that they sent me over these conditioners as well as sponsored this video <laughs> yeah I really trust this brand when it comes to anything color related and I don't really want to play games with my hair, you know, when it comes to something this delicate. So we will be sticking with what we know today and we are going to be going with the Wella Ultimate Repair Conditioner. During this whole come up process, I'm also going to use their Ultimate Repair Miracle Hair Rescue Treatment. And I'm super excited about this one because I just saw Natural Rain, AKA Jalen Mitchell, use this and she posted photos of her before and after of it really helping to transform her color damaged hair. So I'm excited to use this, but we'll talk about this in another video. I'm gonna be using this conditioner in two ways. The first way is that I'm going to be mixing it with water so that I could fully saturate each lock before I go ahead and start combing. And then I'm also going to be applying it directly to each lock before I start that process, just to make sure that it's like super slippery. I also have a couple different comb options. I don't know how long this is gonna take me. I might be here for days, I might be playing myself, I might be putting on the clown face right now, thinking that I'm going to do this in like two days max. Like I won't know until I get into it. If it takes me an hour for each lock, I'm literally gonna pass out y'all. I also got one of these brushes that everybody has been raving about. 
so we'll see at what point I get into this but it's supposed to be really good for detangling of course I have a bunch of hair ties here as well as the one in my head I got some hair clips as well so that I could secure my hair I have a towel just to protect my clothing and then of course my water bottle that I will be using to mix the Wella conditioner in can't believe I'm doing this right now so the first thing that I'm going to do is section off my hair but first 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 I just want to appreciate this is the final length check, y'all. So this is the size that we are working with for our first section. Now I'm going to throw this other towel across my shoulder. I'm going to start on this line. For years, even when I was doing like little twists and stuff, I would always start back right here. So this is likely the first lock that I ever created in my head. It will also be the first to come out. <sighs> Thank you. First step, completely saturate. Apply a little bit more for a little razzle dazzle. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna start. And my heart is pounding. <laughs> it's given this is gonna take a long time. <laughs> Let's try this one. Cause this one has that little, the little gap right here. And I think maybe this will help me not have to switch over to the rat tail side so much. I think I like the one with the smaller bristles a little better. And y'all, when I tell you I have no expectations of how my hair is going to look, cause like I said, I really love my locks. I think that this is the best look. The blonde locks is by far the best hairstyle that I've ever had. I feel like it complements me the most. I'm not doing this because I don't like my locks anymore. And I think that's also another reason why it felt so overwhelming to me. I'm doing this because I feel guided to do it. I cannot believe I'm still messing around with the bottom of this lock. Oh Lord, what did I get myself into? This is taking forever. It took one girl on TikTok nine weeks. Yeah, I've been doing this for 20 minutes, so I'm just gonna continue and then I'm gonna come back because my camera gonna die. I don't got time. Okay, so this is how much has been combed out now. I will say that the further I go up, I do favor this thicker type of comb. I asked my husband how he feels about me taking my locks out. And he said, girl, you can get the Lapita and still be fine. I said, period. Let's see if this brush works. OMG. OMG. Wow. I can't believe it. And this is how far it comes. One lock down, 116 to go. <laughs> We're gonna make it to what I do. <sighs> Time for the next one. Y'all, it's been a heck of a day. It is now past midnight. I started doing this at around 11 something in the morning. And this right here, this little section, this is all I have completed. Now, before you ask if I went all the way through or if I took breaks, I literally only took breaks to eat. I played myself. I thought this was gonna take two days and I played myself. I have no regrets. I'm still feeling good, momentum, everything, you know, but it's getting tough. Um, I have a headache. There's a crick in my neck. I have the most wrinkly fingers, especially on this hand. Also, not to say that your ending should be in mind in the beginning, but if you're one of those people who's doing it for style purposes or something like that, and you know for a fact it's only for a time you're gonna comb them out, don't make them itty bitty because those itty bitty ones are the hardest to come out. I haven't broken any combs yet, but I have bent. I've bent both. Y'all, this is crazy. It's probably going to take me a full week to do this. I'm gonna wake up early tomorrow and get started early and just be at it all day and I'll come back and I'll update y'all and see how far that gets me, but this is not for the week. Okay, today is day three. Day two, I got this much done. Just this little section back here. But thankfully, my sister is here today to help me and we'll see how much we get done with two of us on the head instead of just one. Cause y'all, it's a lot, it's a lot. Okay, so this is the results of day three. So. These are the results of day three. 
And honestly, the only reason why I have so much done is because my sister came to help me. So I did a little bit yesterday, but honestly, she did most of it. <laughs> and what I could say at this point is that my hair feels really thick. It feels really full. It feels really soft as well. I do feel like it does need a deep condition, but I think this conditioner is helping smooth it out and make it really soft during this process. Like it doesn't feel rough or crispy or anything like that. So yeah, we'll see what happens today. <laughs> Okay, so I think yesterday was day four. Y'all, I am, <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of doing this. So I didn't really get much done yesterday. I mostly did some like over in this area, like a row here, but I didn't really get much done at all. Today, I'm trying to split this section in two and maybe do this half and then that half. And then over the weekend, my husband said that he is going to help me and we are going to tackle the front. But I feel like the front, just praying that the front will be a lot easier than the back y'all the back was giving me a run for my money i know this crown about to give me a run for my money plus the perimeter is super hard to comb out because that's the part that gets the most friction so hopefully the part of my hair that has the least amount of friction will be the easiest to comb out y'all i'm just praying i need this i need this so yeah today is day five and we're gonna see how much we get done hopefully as much of this little top section as possible but at the very least i'm just trying to get half of it yesterday was day five this is the update i got most of that section done i got this done i had four more left to do from this section but i was tired so i just went to sleep but this is how much i have left today my focus is going to be this section right here and then we'll tackle the sides and the top yeah so that's where we're at today Day six, day six. We did finish that section right there. Feeling confident. All we gotta do is finish this area and then we're done. It was actually really great because Mr. Wesley Ray, he really helped me a lot. Like we were getting things done in half the time. So what I found is like the star method for us if you have somebody who can help you. Kind of like go back and forth. So he was new so he hadn't done it before so I knew I was going to finish the first one before he finished his. So we started at the same time. I finished mine and then I took his over. After that he would start the next one. And then by the time I was done with that one I would take his next one over. And we were getting through it so quickly you guys it was crazy. So. We're gonna do that today and then whatever I don't finish today, hopefully I can finish tomorrow. It's gonna be a lot easier because I have help. So if you can get help, 10 out of 10, I would I would, I would, would go with that. Plan your lock comb out around when you can have help. We're just getting rougher and rougher. Like, I know, I know y'all. This is in my mom's pajamas and I wear them for comfort, okay? But good news is we accomplished our goal yesterday. So we're literally almost done. I just have this one section left. Um, yesterday I worked my husband to the bone. He was like, my fingertips hurt, my thumb hurts. Because when you actually like go through the lock with this, this little pointy thing is really tearing up your thumb. I'm just gonna do this kind of solo dolo until my husband gets off and then he's gonna help me some more. And then hopefully with his help tonight and with the work that I do today, I can just finish it up tomorrow if need be. We've reached the light at the end of the tunnel. Yesterday we got so much done. Mr. Weston Ray helped me after he got off work. So now I literally have five locks left on my head. And I am not gonna hesitate. I'm gonna go comb these out right now. So home stretch, y'all. It has been an extremely long nine days, which I think is pretty interesting because nine is my number. You guys know nine is my number. I always wear this nine necklace. I have a nine tattooed on me and the symbolism behind this nine tattoo is because my life path number is nine and my mom's reduces to six so it's like we'll cross in every lifetime right the fact that i completed this on the ninth day is just very very special to me and you guys can't see it right now but it's pouring down rain and for those of you who don't know my mom always comes to me in rain i always say that you guys will get even more context on how symbolic this rain thing is for me um, but it's just so beautiful that it's happening right now. Let me show you guys actually. It's like, it is literally pouring down rain right now. And I didn't even realize it until just now when I sat down and it just really speaks to this process that I've gone through with the lock journey and how deeply spiritual it is for me and how 
it's just the most reassuring thing to know that even though this journey is over for me that I felt connected me so much to my mom because it did. It just reminds me that she's always with me. She's all around me. She's in nature. And I'm just thankful that as a soul, I get to have these experiences and that I am observant enough and I focus on gratitude enough to really feel them and to really appreciate them and really understand them and that my signs come in a way that I can't understand. So it's just a really special thing for me. And I'm really glad that I was able to take you guys on this journey with me so that not only can you, you know, learn how to do your hair and retwist and do things at home and feel empowered that you can take care of yourself in the way that you deserve to be taken care of. But also, you know, in a way to show you that the universe can speak to you, like God can speak to you, your loved ones can speak to you in a way that you understand. You just have to be willing to see it and accepting them as signs in your heart to keep you going. And this grief journey is far from over. It's a lifelong thing, but I'm just so grateful for how it has just turned itself from something that was so painful to something that is so beautiful and that just reminds me of the favor that I have in my life. So y'all, I know the lighting is terrible, but it's because my mom is telling me that she's with me right now and I can't even be, shocked and surprised anymore because she always is and this always happens i'm just literally so grateful so today is day nine of my lock comb out <laughs> and i wanted to save the last lock for us to do together it's one in the front and i also wanted to share with you how much hair <laughs> i've actually shed in the process as well as tell you guys my little tip that I started today, y'all know I kind of broke skin on my thumb. So what I ended up doing was I ended up putting a band-aid on my thumb and then I took a cleaning glove that, you know, you use to wash dishes and stuff and I just cut the thumb off of it. You know, like how you do a thimble or something when you sew, I just cut the thumb off of it. So I put it over. So now I can actually comb out my hair without worrying about it, you know, poking into that because Obviously, when you use the same method over and over again, it's gonna poke in the same place and it was excruciating. Once again, I have this spray bottle that I have the Wella Ultimate Repair Conditioner in. Get this nice and saturated. And then just to add a little bit more slip, I'm just taking a little bit more of that and just putting it on there. This comb I really liked because you want something that's gonna be strong. I would suggest instead of like going online and buying a comb, Go to like the hair store so that you could actually see the quality of the comb because I got so many different combs and some of them worked out better than others. Some of them cut my thumbs up more than others. This one did not cut my thumb up at all because it's more rounded at the edges. So I just start, you could either start with the end or with the top. I know some people use the end all the way up, but y'all, I don't know. With my hair, I just could not do it. I'm not gonna lie, at first it was taking me like 45 minutes per lock to complete, which was crazy but i ended up cutting that time down significantly it's just pouring down outside it's nice to leave room for magic like i'm experiencing magic right now i'm experiencing like a spiritual thing that is within and also beyond me i can't wait to show y'all how much hair is in this bag <laughs> And if it gets a little dry, that's fine. I just spray some more of this. You gotta have it like as wet as possible because if not, I just feel like it leaves you more susceptible to breakage. And the trick is to start from where the lock is just locked at. Like you don't wanna try to come from here and drag it all the way through because you'll get more breakage that way. It's almost done. I can't believe it. And then I comb from the bottom all the way to the top until I get a clean pass. And just like that, I no longer have locks. They're all gone. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys how much hair is in this bag. This is how much hair is in this bag, y'all. It literally looks like a dang Afro wig. Are y'all for real? <laughs> So yeah, that was my lock comb out. Very emotional, very spiritual. Thank you so much for tuning in to my lock comb out journey. I appreciate it more than anybody will ever know. 
but it's all in my heart and I'm sending out so much love to y'all right now. I have so much more in store for you regarding this hair and also my spiritual and holistic health content. So make sure to stay tuned for all of that. I am obviously exhausted, so I'm just gonna go hibernate and enjoy this nice rainy weather for the rest of the evening with my man because he just got off girl just in time and yeah i hope that you guys really enjoyed this video if you made it all the way to this point make sure to leave me a little unicorn emoji in the comment section below of course make sure to like subscribe comment and share follow all my social media accounts right down there and i'll see you in the next video peace